this turned out incredible. ChatGPT in free pick just leveled up. I couldn't have said it better. And the things you're able to do isn't just incredibly convenient, it's incredibly impressive. Look at the final result. Look how cool this actually looks. So today in this video, I'm not just gonna show you one update. I'm gonna show you multiple upgrades that will make you run to try them as soon as you're done watching this video. But we're gonna jump right into this and go to one of my new favorites. So what you wanna do is locate the AI assistant. In order to do that, up in the top left-hand corner, we're gonna see these three lines. You can click those three lines and it populates the side menu just like that. Or, so what you want to do is click on AI assistant right here. Simply select that one that says AI assistant. It's gonna automatically take you to this page right here, which mimics chat GPT. And now the first one I wanna start with is called composition. This one is gonna allow you to edit, create, and change up the style of any of your AI creations and images directly from within the AI assistant. Okay, now this is so impressive. I'm gonna show you how I quickly changed up my image from this top one to a now eye-catching poster that looks just like this. This is the power of composition. Now, before we start this process, I do wanna show you a few options you may not know are there. Now, quickly, if I select the workflows right here, it automatically populates with these incredibly helpful options to go ahead and get started with your creation process. Now, once you see what I'm about to show you, you're gonna have your creative mind flowing. You're gonna be able to use this method to create product ads, marketing posters, or any other form of content. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is select this little plus button right here, but we're not gonna be adding an attachment. Click that plus button and now select composition. With that selected, it's gonna take you to this page right here. You're gonna see down here at the bottom, we have even more options. Now, we're gonna hit this plus button one more time, and now we're gonna upload an actual image. I can come in here and select one of my previous AI generations in free pick, but what I'm going to do specifically is just come in here and simply drag and drop a new image directly from my downloads folder. With that image in here, simply select use image now. Once I select it, you could see right away, it automatically appears in here. Now you may not notice since this is a white on white background, but if I bring my image in here, you could see that it actually does contain a white background, which won't look good if I want my background to be blue. So what we're gonna do is with my image selected, I am now gonna select this button in the top left in this menu bar. That is gonna be the background remover tool. Now that white background isn't gonna be there. Now with this centered, let's go down here at the bottom and hit this plus button one more time. This time I'm gonna select add elements. Now when this appears, it doesn't look like much. That is where the search bar comes in and then just simply type in anything else you're looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and type in light and now I can scroll and look at all of the different light bulbs or lights. Then I just bring in the one that I want by clicking on it and now I can adjust the size for this one. So with my image size the right way, it looks pretty good. Notice this though, it's in the front of my original image and it's blocking it. I don't want that to be the case. So what I'll do now is up here in this little top menu bar, I'm gonna select this icon that has the arrow pointing down. That's called send to back. With that selected, now my yellow light bulb is gonna appear behind my original one. Now that way I can click and drag and move things around and have that yellow background kind of appear behind my original one. Now, with that said, we're not quite done yet. Things are about to get a lot more impressive. Again, down below, let's now select this paintbrush, okay? With the paintbrush selected, you can adjust your size. I'll leave mine around five. And now you can basically draw on your image in any way that you want. And I'm gonna do exactly just that. I'm drawing this horrible looking line. And from the looks of it, you may not even know exactly what this is but that's no problem because the AI will know exactly what to do. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is come down here and we have this little comment icon. Go ahead and select that. With that selected, you can see your cursor and your mouse now look like a little comment blob. Now, just click in the general area that you want to make an edit to, okay? Now, that comment we enter right now is going to instruct the AI assistant to do whatever you want. So in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and type in a lightning bolt, just like that. Now, select this little blue checkbox. We have one comment there. And now let's say I wanna have some text in here. I'll simply just type exactly that in blue bold font. Now select that little check mark one more time. And now again, I can bring this in. I can click and drag my comment anywhere I want, just somewhat in the vicinity of where I want my text to be. Now everything looks good. Now what we wanna do is up in the top right hand corner, now select continue. And now you're back here on this page and here's what we're gonna do. I can go ahead and select that send button and it will generate the following annotations on this image. Or I can say something like this, create a poster. 
That's all I have to do. And now just like that, look how amazing this is. It populates just like this, giving you a left column and a right column. I can even change and edit things up. Let me show you what we have down below. I can select edit image and do some further edits. I can upscale it. I can create a video and even add another annotation. So let's go ahead and create a video directly from within this right here. And now just like that, look, it populates. It brings me back to this page and I can go ahead and go and choose any sort of AI video tool I want to use. I think I'm going to go with Pixverse. Remember, down here at the bottom, I have my style, and I'm going to go ahead and make this a 3D animation. There we have it. Let's go ahead and generate this one. Now, back over here in the AI Assistant, here are some other options. I can even hit this refresh button, and now it's going to populate, and look, give me even more amazing options. As I continue to select this repopulate button, it's just going to give me more and more different options. Let's select this background color, and let's go ahead and change it up and see what it can come up with. And now look at this. Look how cool this looks. Remember, the original, the first one, white background. Now I get this cool looking blue background. That is incredible. Now that was the first update and that's called composition. Now let's move on and let me show you a few more. Okay, so down here below again in this prompt box, go ahead and select this little star button and that's called styles. With that selected, I automatically get access to all of these amazing styles. So this is gonna be again, so helpful to create amazing looking images on the fly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select dark. Let's go find a completely different prompt. For that one, I'm gonna go into my fantasy dark one and simply find something very quickly. Okay, here is a pretty scary one right here. It fits the narrative of dark. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in now. Now, while that one's thinking, I do want to direct you to a prompt generator I definitely want to share with you. I'll also include it via the link in the description. And now the reason why I want to show you this prompt generator right now is because remember, the next thing I'm showing you is the color palette. So on this page right here, in fact, any page on my blog post, just like you see right here, are going to have a ton of different prompts. Scroll all the way down and there is going to be one specifically that says color palette generator. Okay. Expand this whole prompt box and copy be the whole entire thing just like that because now we're going to actually use this to generate our very own unique color palette for this next update but first let's come back over in the free pick and look at this image we just got that is definitely dark definitely a little bit spooky interesting okay now remember the other thing we can do is on the left hand side bottom left i'm going to say this change aspect ratio and i'll say to 16 9 that way let's have my image instead of being a vertical let's have it be more of a wider angle shot like a YouTube thumbnail and now it's going to be a wider version of the same exact image. Okay, we'll come back to this in a second and see how it turned out but for now let's go back and open up a brand new chat and now this time what we're going to do is we're going to hover over this icon and that is going to be color palette. Now you could see I already have my own created but instantly you could see that there are going to be some certain color palettes that we can already choose. Now let's say I wanted to go ahead and create my very own color palette. Select new color palette and you could do just that by plugging in the specific hex code. But what if we don't have one? That's where this prompt generator is going to come in so handy. What we're going to do specifically for this though is actually use the AI assistant. Now there's that prompt I got from my website right there. Remember we went ahead and copied and pasted the whole entire thing. And now with that in there, let's go ahead and hit that send button. It's instantly just going to give me 10 unique vibrant color palettes that I can use. Watch this. As I scroll down, it's going right to work and we're going to get all of these different amazing ones with the amazing details for each one. So let's just say for an example, we want to use some of these. What you want to do is just copy all of these hex codes right after the hashtag. Now select new color, name it whatever you want. I'll stick with the name it gave me and now simply select each of these squares and plug in each of the hex codes over here on the right hand side. So we have this first one is going to be FF8FF. I'll copy each one, come in here and paste it in. There's that first one. It's going to be that frost white. Let's go back and forth and now let's get our polar purple purple. Go ahead and copy this one right here. Select your next square and now paste it in. And now you can see I have that purple and then we're going to have one more. But let's say I want to add my own. So instead of pasting the code, I'm just going to come in here and just click and drag around the different colors. And let's just go ahead and go with these three right here. And now I'll select save color. Now what we can do is come in here and just simply type in a specific image. I'll say astronaut lost in an interstellar world. I'll select this color palette and now select my new one. Let's double up. Let's also come in here and add a style. We have surreal and my color palette. Let's now generate this one. And now while that's thinking, let's head back over into free pick. Do you remember
remember how I went ahead and converted this lights out image into a video? Look at the final result. Look how cool this actually looks after creating my video. That did a fantastic job. Again, to be able to use everything in one tool is going to be so helpful. And now again, remember my original dark image. Now I get a new aspect ratio of 16.9. And look at that surreal image of an astronaut lost in the interstellar world. That's fantastic. This turned out incredible. And remember, simply convert it to an AI video. And now it takes my still image to a realistic looking video that looks just like this. Very impressed with this whole entire update. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have you been using this? And what do you think about it so far? And remember, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. But until then, I'll see you next time.